What's up everybody, I'm Matt Gary, and in this episode of Coding with the Force, we're gonna find out when you should and should not use the static keyword in Apex. All right, everybody, welcome back to this Apex Masterclass tutorial series. In this episode, we are gonna figure out together when you should use the static keyword to declare a variable or a method and when you shouldn't. But before we get into when you should and shouldn't use the static keyword, make sure if you actually enjoy this video to like it because when you do, it helps this video get out to more people just like you that wanna learn this stuff for free too. So if you like the video, actually hit the like button. Now, let's get back to what you came here for. So. In the last episode, we figured out what the difference between a static variable and a non-static variable is, and the difference between a static method and a non-static method. But what we didn't figure out is when you should use a static method versus a non-static method, or a static variable versus a non-static variable. So in this episode, we're gonna figure that out. And we're gonna do so using an example that is not exactly Salesforce specific, but my hope is that this example is, you know, more easy to grasp for the concept of when to use static or when to not use it. And we'll go over more relevant Salesforce specific use cases when we do examples later on in this tutorial course, uh, in this uh, tutorial series. But for today, we're just gonna go over a simple example to hopefully help illustrate when to use static and when to not use static. In as simple terms as I can think up anyway. So what we're gonna do first is create a new Apex class and we're just gonna call this Apex class car. And in this car class, which represents, I want you to envision this representing a real car um, because that's exactly what we're building right now, the a theoretical real car. And we're gonna create a couple of methods in, the, in this. I'm gonna create a pub, or sorry, a non-static method and a static method, and then explain why they are what they are, why they're static, why they're not. So the first one that we'll create is a public, uh, is our non-static method, our instance method. So we'll say public void drive car there's our instance method, non-static. And the other one will be public static, um, we'll say like integer, it's gonna return us an integer, uh, convert miles per hour to kilometers per hour, or yeah, I think that's right, right? <laughs> kilometers per hour. I don't know. I live in America. I, unfortunately, we're on this non-metric system. So um, as far as why I chose a static method here and a non-static method up here, let's just take some time to think about it. Um, really quick, just to make this make a little more sense. I'm gonna pass this in an integer, um, miles per hour, and then um, we could do the calculation here to convert it, but we'll figure that out later if we really feel like we need to get into it. So as far as why this is an instance method and this is a static method, let's really think about this. If we wanted to drive a car, we would need a car, right? We would absolutely need a car to exist to be able to drive it. And for each instance or for each car in existence, we would need a new way to drive that car because there's an individual in that car driving it, right? And for every single car, there's a different person behind the wheel driving it. So there's a new instance of that car and it's being driven by, you know, the person behind the wheel in that instance of the car. 
Alternatively, you don't need a car to exist to calculate what miles per hour would be versus kilometers per hour or to convert miles per hour to kilometer per hour, right? You don't actually need a physical car to exist to do that calculation. And since you don't need that physical car to exist and you don't need a new instance of a car, well then you can create a static method um, to represent that. So essentially, the main difference between an instance method that is, again, um, a method that is local to your instance as opposed to a method that is a part of the class that you are uh, creating, the static one. <clears throat> if you don't need it to be local to that instance or unique for each car that you create, then you'd create a static one. If you do need it to be unique for each car you created, then you'd need it to be non-static. So I know that's a little bit confusing to kind of grasp the first time you do it, but just try to think when you're creating your methods, you know, would I need a new implementation of this method when I'm creating my class? Is it relevant to the new instantiation of my car or my whatever my classes that I'm creating? Or does it not matter if it differs from class instantiation to class instantiation, like converting miles per hour to kilometers per hour? We don't need a car to do that, right? It's relevant maybe to this car class because being able to convert that is useful, but we don't have to have a car created to be able to convert you know, a miles per hour value to a kilometer per hour, per hour value. It's just not necessary, right? The car doesn't need to exist. We can do that math on our own without a car around. So that's kind of why you would use one over the other. If you need an instance of your class for your method to make sense, and for, to, for it to be useful, then, um, you know, make it an instance method. But if you don't need an instance of your class for your method to be useful, then make it a static method. Pretty straightforward. It'll take some time for you to get the hang of it. You're probably not going to get this 100% right for a while. But hopefully this helps you kind of grasp when to use one over the other. As far as when to use a static variable or a non-static variable, let's create a couple and figure it out, right? So the first variable I'll create is an instance variable. We'll say uh, public, <clears throat> uh, we'll call it a string car, car type. And we'll just leave it like that. And then for our static variable, we'll say public, static um, existing car instances or something. Uh, I need to declare its type though. Like so. So maybe um, we want to know our car type, right? Well, just like with driving a car, to get the car type, we need a car, right? We need a car to exist for us to know the car type that you know we're working with. That makes sense, right? But for this other one, this existing car instances, technically we don't actually need a car to exist for this to be uh, useful, right? Maybe there are zero cars in existence and it can still exist, right? Um, but we just want to know how many existing car instances are out there in the world. But more importantly, this variable will allow us, if we wanted to, to <clears throat> count how many car instances we've created. And oftentimes, this is something that you might use static variables for. 
especially if you do things like the singleton design pattern, which is something we'll get into way later and is not really important now, or um, if you're trying to ensure that your triggers don't run more than once or something like that, this variable will be able to kind of count that. So um, say we wanted to know the amount of car instances that have been created. How many cars did we maybe manufacture? Maybe that's a better way to say that. Um, cars manufactured or something. Um, but maybe we want to know how many cars have we instantiated from this class in our Apex execution. And we could, in our constructor, say <clears throat> existing car instances plus plus. So every single time we create a new car, we're going to increase our count of existing car instances, which is cool. It gives us a way to know, okay, we've created 6,000 car instances in our Apex transaction that we're currently in or something along those lines. But again, this variable does not need to exist. Um, uh, does not need a car to exist to be relevant, right? Whereas the car type absolutely needs a car to exist to be a relevant variable. So since this <clears throat> requires a car, it should be an instance variable. And since this does not require a car to exist and can be fine without the existence of any cars at all, then it should be declared as a static variable. Hopefully this helps you kind of understand when to use static and when to not use static for both methods and for variables. If you need your car object class whatever to exist then you need, uh, or, or for your variable or your method to be relevant, then they need to be instance or non-static. If you don't need your car to, car to exist, or what, whatever class it is you're creating for your variable or your method to be relevant, then make them static and move on with your life. <laughs> um, all right, guys, hopefully that helps. Uh, I know this is a little tricky to grasp the first time around, but Hopefully this breaks it down a little more so it's maybe a little bit easier to get your head around. Um, if you have any questions about it, definitely feel free to send them my way. I'm always happy to answer any questions I get. All right, that is it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.